Hi, it's Mr. Anderson and this is AP Physics Essentials video 124. It's on electromagnetic waves, which are the oscillations that create electromagnetic radiation. And they're important. And so light is electromagnetic radiation and therefore it's carried in these electromagnetic waves. And does light make it from the sun to the earth? Of course. And so that means that electromagnetic waves can make it through the vacuum of space. But can you hear the sun? No. And that means that the mechanical sound waves aren't able to transfer through space. If they could, scientists have estimated that the sound of the sun would be around 100 decibels. So that's about the, so the sound of a jackhammer a few meters away. So it'd be deafening in sound. So it's a good thing that we don't hear the sun, but it's really important that we see it, that those electromagnetic waves make it here. It keeps us warm. It also allows plants to grow and so we can survive. And so the electromagnetic spectrum is made up of these electromagnetic waves. And they go from high energy, really high frequency, low wavelength gamma rays all the way down to long wavelength low energy radio waves. Remember you're only seeing a small portion of that but the one thing these all have in common is that they're made up of electromagnetic waves. Those are transverse waves. Remember what a transverse wave is is one where the oscillations are perpendicular or at 90 degrees to the direction of the movement of the wave. And so it's not only in one dimension, we also have electric fields and magnetic fields are, that are perpendicular to themselves. And so we have oscillations that are both perpendicular to the direction of motion and the corresponding field. And so they can travel through anything. Electromagnetic waves can travel through medium, like light can move through water, obviously, or radio waves can move through the walls of my house so I can hear the radio, but they can also move through the vacuum of space. And so if we look at electromagnetic magnetic waves. Remember as we move towards high energy gamma rays our wavelength is decreasing but our frequency is increasing. So radio waves have these really long wavelengths around the size of a building whereas gamma rays would be more the size of an atom itself. But if we look at how they oscillate remember the wave is going to move in this direction and the oscillation is going to be perpendicular to that. But adding on top of that we also have these fields and so the direction of the wave is going to be we'll say from left to right in this dimension, but we're also going to have in the z uh, dimension, we're going to have these electric fields that oscillate back and forth. And then in the y, or rather in the x, we're going to have magnetic fields that go back and forth. And so to give you a visual of what they really look like, we have these oscillations in these two dimensions and then the movement is going to be in the third dimension. And that starts to explain why we have things like the right hand rule when it comes to electricity. And so energy can move from point A to point B in two ways. It could move as a particle. We could shoot a particle from A to B. But the other way we can transfer energy is through a wave. We could oscillate, for example, the water here. We could oscillate it back and forth. That would create waves that could move B back and forth. Now that would be a mechanical wave because we physically have to have a medium to transfer the energy from one to another but electromagnetic waves are not mechanical that means they could move through the water they could move through the medium but they could also move through the vacuum of space and so did you learn to describe the model of an electromagnetic wave it's both a transverse perpendicular to electric field and magnetic field and also it can move through the vacuum of space and I hope that was helpful